So, uh, yeah. Oh, I'd say it's pretty big. We're going to unbox this guy and see what comes, uh, what comes with it. I was, uh, I was really surprised at how much this box actually weighed when it showed up. I was like, man, I, I wish I could be my younger self. You know what? Let me do that. Ready? Shoot, that's a lot better. Now I can handle this. All right, I ordered this box on Sunday and now it's Monday. And let's just start opening the box. Wait a minute. What's going on here? That man's an imposter. That man is the imposter. Hmm. This is interesting. All right, well, now that we got that done and over with, so I had to lower this desk down because this box is going to come up off the top here. So this is gonna be kind of like a unscripted, just we're gonna unbox this. When it, when it came here, we got all the directions on the top. So we gotta take out all these little things. I got a couple of helpers with me if you couldn't tell. Got my boys with me. I got it. I think you just had to unlock it, not open the whole thing, but. Make it a lot goes. easier. Yep. You got that said? Hello there. Be careful, miss. Make sure nothing falls out. Take it off nice and slow. Oh, oh no. Yep, I think we reached our, we're almost, we're almost there. So I'll let go, okay, let's see if we can, yep, we can do it this way. Here we go. What? We got our little uh, instruction booklet for the AMS combo. We got what I'm assuming is gonna be the build plate. Or is this the, no, this is the accessory box. So in the accessory box, we got the tools, the hot end, or the nozzle rather. We got the spool holder. Looks like we got some PTFE tubes in here. And yeah, so that's what we got in the accessory box. It's a lot bigger than I expected. What's that, the accessory box or the printer? The whole printer. Wow. Take foam off the top. Let's try to keep it a little organized. Okay, so yeah, we can take the tape off. This is gonna come off. It's important, it says to uh, make sure you keep the box in case you have to send anything back for warranty work or issues or anything like that. And that makes it nice because I don't know what I would send this printer back in if I did not keep the box. Hopefully it does not have to go back. So we got a side or a back panel back here. Got some styrofoam here. Oh, they, Bamboo Lab did a good job of sending it. They wrapped it all up nice. They did wrap it up nice. I'm sure nothing gets breaking or something. Yep. They, they're going over here. There's tape over here. Oh, there, there she is. Yep, yep, easy. Just wait. It has instructions on everything on how to do it. All right, so everything is taped up super, super good. So we're gonna grab the tape. Looks like it's gonna be the top panel. Oh, wow, that's nice. Top glass panel. Oh, it's glass, wow. Oh, try not to break it like a, uh, another YouTube 3D printer reviewer, Uncle Jesse. Seriously, someone broke that? Yep, he broke that. Why? He didn't mean to. Uh, oh. He was unboxing it, it fell out. So inside the top here, Oh, I got your other camera out. All right, so we're gonna go a little mobile. So inside the top here, you can see there's some foam. The AMS system is inside there. So we're gonna try to take this out nice and easily too. And not break anything. All right, so that was just packing material. And there's some more foam in there. Should I move the track? There's a whole lot of styrofoam. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. All right. Let's do that. Do I need to sit down the mic? <laughs> yeah. I'm turn it off. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna pick. Yep. I'm gonna pick this up, and then you slide the box out of the way. You need your help? Um. You see. And grab a hold of this thing. Okay. That's how we get it. There's kind of like little cutouts on the bottom. Little handholds. All right. Go grab. Yeah. That. All right. There is the printer. There she is. Yeah, she's a, she's a big one. Oh, wow, that's a nice one. Wait, what was safety? Oh, is that like yep. shut it off? Yep, so can't be used if I don't want it to be used. All right, I'm gonna leave this plastic on here until uh, until the end, so I don't get as many fingerprints on here as I need to. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four screws on here holding the AMS in place. These red screws here. There's also some tape right here. Yep. Yeah, going all the way through the bottom. 
All right, so these are the red screws on the inside. There's one here, 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 and here that we're gonna have to take out. Wait, so wait, what's that for? This is the AMS. This is the thing that goes on top that holds the filament. Oh, oh, that's pretty convenient. They just put it in there. Got it. Yeah, they put it in here for shipping. So we found that we needed, there are actually some more inside. There's one here and then one on the other side that we're gonna need to take out as well. And I can't see if there are any on the bottom. All right, so I also did, I did see way down low in there. Screws? There are some screws. Great. Which shouldn't be a problem, but they are down in there. The, uh, they are, they do have uh, the red ring around them. So you do know that you need to remove them. Make sure you smash the like button. There you go. All right. Don't forget about that bell so you never miss an upload. There you go. All right, I'll give you a tip with these two. When you're taking them out, you want to be super careful with them. Screws that are way down in here, you want to make sure that when you get them loose, you get them finger tight, you can get them out with your fingers. That way you don't drop them. Then uh, it's really going to help you so you don't have to try and find them at a later time. Like the bottomless doom. That screen is a lot bigger compared to that one. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna make one of those boats first. What, a benchy? Mm -hmm. That's what they're called. I'll probably make a benchy just to calibrate it and make sure that it's... Yes, right. I love those, they're cool. He cannot stop getting his hands on these and just spinning it. Yeah, I do like those veggie spinners. They did come out nice. I see you using them all the time. Mm -hmm. What if they use 3D printers to make 3D printers? Like 3D printer inception. That that would be cool. He knows. Anyways, let's get back on topic. Yeah, back on topic. This is what happens. You got three guys with ADHD working on a project. We get off topic quite often. Yeah, so we have a little camera. So I'm guessing like one like big tube that connects them all together? Yeah, there will be one tube that connects the AMS to the back here. There's two tubes because this is the same housing as the H2D, which has two heads. This one only has one, so we're only gonna use one of these. And then this one here is specifically for TPU. Got it. It's a, cool. It's a flexible filament. So yeah. it's, it, it's harder for it to push through the uh, machine. So it has a separate head so it doesn't get stuck. So sometimes it does pay off to have little little helpers with little hands. This should come out. So this is the piece. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, uh, that's the piece that goes on the top. Yep, this is the big piece. So the AMS was inside of there. So you can take that out, camera. And we got more styrofoam. I love how it has like more improved cameras, like AI. So like it can see stuff and it will know if something is wrong. All right, one nice thing about already having a 3D printing setup is you got the tools that I need. There are three zip ties that I can see up here that are holding the cable chain and the filament tube and the print head in place for shipping. So I, I took one of the um, zip ties off. There are two holding the print head in place. Um, and there was one holding the cable chain in place too. Yeah, lots of foam. Lots and lots of foam. The ones down here, I cannot get out. Yep, okay, so in here, you got the build plate, so we can take the build plate off. It's just magnetized well, on there. So hold like on to that for me. All right, so referring to the manual, there are four screws in here that need to be removed. They're marked in there in red too. I just didn't know uh, if I needed to remove them or not. So I referred to the manual. You have one here, one here, one here, and one here. They're all labeled with those red tags. If you had a 3D printer, what would you print? Um, just depends what kind of mood I would be in and like yeah. what I'm kind of going towards, but probably print out like a PS5, that, like fake one, just it was like cool. All right, so we got the um, four screws out off the heat bed. There's still these red marks here. There's still plastic pieces and foam in here. That's all gonna come out after we calibrate it. Cut the cable ties. The next thing it's telling us to do is to connect the, um, the AMS system. We're gonna put the top on first. The next thing is gonna be the AMS. So I got the AMS combo. So it did come with it. So now here, little poop shoot boy, hold the microphone down here and we can get some of that ASMR. Ready? Oh yeah. That's always so satisfying. 
I'm on the inside too. Let's take the stuff out. Oh, look, more tape. I like some more foam. Let me check, make sure there's no more stuff. So, right there. yep. It says remove the tape. Yeah, inside the back of the AMS system, there's some tape holding some bags with desiccant gel in to you know, get the moisture, to keep the moisture out of the uh, box. They are wrapped in plastic, so what you want to do is make sure you take them out of the plastic. Not the beads themselves, but out of their little plastic there and just stick them right back where they came from. Nice, they left us some snacks. That's so nice of them. Do not eat, it says right here. Do not eat. But eat me. All right, so we're gonna stick this up top. We gotta to connect the PTFE tube from the back of the AMS system to back of this. So I'm gonna spin the printer around and show you guys how we're gonna connect the PTFE tube from the back of the AMS module to the actual printer itself. So we got the long one, and then we have a shorter one. I would say we're gonna use the shorter, we would use the shorter one, I think, if we're gonna make, we know that we want it here, but I'm gonna put the long one in in case we wanna move it. Say RIP in the comments for the breaker. Uh, I hope not. So there's some more tape on the back here that's keeping the vents closed. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. So the vents are able to open. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that into there. And now that is fully in there. And I hope, I think this one for the AMS is fully in there as well. And then it has us putting on the spool on the side. We're gonna leave that off because that's where we're gonna connect the poop chute. That's gonna go here. It's actually gonna, the poop chute that I printed out is actually gonna go there Looks when nice. he's done holding it. Now it also shows where we would connect everything up if we were not using the AMS. Now we need to put the safety button in where it goes to. Safety button? Oh, do you mm -hmm. get it just in case if like emergency happens? Yeah, it's if in case emergency happens or if I don't want somebody using it while I'm not around or whatever, I take the safety button away. That's actually a pretty good feature. It's a it's a must have for when you have uh, the laser portion. But nowhere does it say to connect the AMS Pro to the printer, which has, you know, the connections here and the connections here. I, di I just, I just know <laughs> that we're going to connect. Yeah, we're gonna connect it to here. And then this one's going to connect here. And now we plug it in and set it up and let it do its thing. So I think that was pretty much the entire unboxing and put together. Next thing we gotta do is once we get it powered up, we gotta pair it to, we gotta pair it to the app or bind and bind it to my account and then we're good to go. I'm gonna get this thing all set up and figure out where we wanna put it and then I will be, we'll be back. Make sure you sub. So one of the things that they don't tell you about the, uh, the H2S, it's, it's not like the A1, but the A1 has a micro SD card um, in it already, right there, with the H2S and I believe it's with the H2D. It's got the USB port right here, but it doesn't have the, uh, doesn't come with memory. So I bought a um, low profile micro SD, or not micro SD, but a um, USB stick to stick in there. All right, well, it's the next day. I've got it all set up. Everything went well. I tested a Benji. Benji came out fine. Right now I'm printing some more of this uh, multi-board. And let me tell you, this thing is fast. It, it smokes the A1. I thought it'd be like similar. No, this thing is, it's insane how fast it moves. But that wraps up the unboxing and the full build. Um, shout out to my boys, thank you for helping me. Shout out to anybody who made it through the end of this video. I know it was kind of all over the place. I appreciate everybody checking it out. The H2S is an amazing printer. I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's considering it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.